Hello students, this is LearnEasy Tutorial, your online learning companion. In this video, we will be learning what is a chemical reaction and how we will know a reaction has taken place. A chemical reaction is a chemical change undergone by one or more substances forming new substances. For example, when magnesium ribbon burns in air, the magnesium and oxygen combine to form magnesium oxide. Here, magnesium transfer two of its valence electrons to oxygen, thereby forming a new bond and becoming a new substance, magnesium oxide. The substances that undergo chemical change are known as reactants and the new substances formed are known as products. Here, existing chemical bonds may be broken and or new chemical bonds may be formed. In a chemical reaction, there is change involving electronic configuration, but there will be no change to the nucleus. Now let's see how we will know a chemical reaction has taken place. In some reaction, change of state occurs indicating that a reaction has taken place. For example, ammonia and hydrogen chloride in their gaseous form react to form ammonium chloride which is a white solid. Here you can see it as a fume which crystallizes to form ammonium chloride. In some chemical reactions, we can see the color change. For example, if you put an iron nail in copper sulfate solution, the blue color solution changes to green and we can see a reddish deposit of copper on the iron nail. Whereas in some reactions, the production of gas indicates that the reaction has taken place. If we take some solid calcium carbonate and heat it to about 100 degrees Celsius, it decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. We can confirm that the gas formed is carbon dioxide by passing it through lime water. Here, it will turn milky due to the formation of calcium carbonate. But when you pass excess carbon dioxide through it, the solution will turn colorless due to the formation of calcium bicarbonate. Some reactions can be indicated by this change in smell. Take some powdered iron sulfide and add it to dilute hydrochloric acid. Iron chloride and hydrogen sulfide are formed. Hydrogen sulfide formed here is a colorless gas with a rotomic smell. This change in smell indicates the reaction has taken place here. We can also know that a reaction has taken place by the formation of a precipitate. When potassium iodide solution is added to lead nitrate solution, a yellow solid precipitate of lead iodide is formed immediately. In some reaction, we can sense the chemical reaction by change in temperature. For example, take a beaker of water and check its temperature. Add ammonium chloride and stir well. Check the temperature again after a few minutes. We can see that the temperature has reduced. This is because some reactions take place by absorption of heat. Once the reaction completes, the temperature of the product will go down. On the other hand, if the reaction is exothermic, the temperature will rise. For example, add water to calcium oxide. Calcium hydroxide is formed along with the release of heat, which can be seen as a rise in temperature. Let's have a look at the key points. A chemical reaction is a chemical change in one or more reactants forming a product. The substances undergoing reaction are known as reactants. The new substances formed are called products. It involves a change in electronic structure by making or breaking the bonds and does not involve any change in the nucleus. We will know the chemical reaction has taken place 
by change of state, change in color, production of gas, change in smell, formation of a precipitate or change in temperature. That's all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. We'll meet you soon with a new video. If you like this video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. Happy learning.